Alright, hello and welcome back to this uh, JavaScript game framework tutorial. So, <clears throat> we have built up a framework that is pretty powerful right about now. So, let's figure out how we can um, make it interactive. So, we have a framework and we want to do stuff with it uh, using HTML. Say you don't want to just make a game, you want to make the whole web experience, the entire website, play a part in this JavaScript framework, in this in this game. So let's let's go ahead and add a couple things here. At the top, let's add an input. This is the index.html, by the way, if you haven't seen it. We're going to open up, uh, we're going to open it up and we're going to do uh, input. We're going to give it an ID of, um, in fact, we don't even need to give it an ID. Let's, let's just call it a type button. And then we can call, uh, we can say value. This is what's going to be in the text. If you don't, if you haven't had any experience with HTML, the value is going to be, uh, I don't know, let's say, uh, click me. And then on click, we're going to cast a function. Now let's give it some spacing. Now nothing's going to happen when we click this initially because because uh, we have nothing in our in our scene down here. So let's go ahead and uh, work on getting our scene up and going here. Do do. I'm going to change this document body from being the entire size of the uh, window to being the uh, to being the the size that we pass in here. I want it to be 500 by 500. So uh, in that case, we don't need to set the width and the height. All we need to set is the style, and we can just leave it like that. So let's check it. Our box should be updated. Man, my connection is going pretty slow. There we go. Our box is here. And I want to add some, uh, some padding around it, because this is just too uh, close to the edge. Let's, let's uh, Add a, a, a bit of padding to everything. Let's say uh, style padding is 10 pixels to the body. There we go. So everything's in there. So this black outline says the edge of our box. So let's make this button do something. When we click this button, I want to create a, a rectangle inside of uh, the the uh, the window instead of our canvas. So I'm going to create a function instead of our our main.js. I'm going to create a function called uh, generate uh, rect. Now all I have to do is take this generate rect function and paste it inside of the click me, and we can check that it works. We can say alert, hello Danielle, and now when we click me, it'll say hello Danielle. So our functions work. So let's create a rectangle. So first of all, I want to create an array. I want to call it var rect equals new array, and it's going to be empty. So down here in our update, we're going to do a for loop. We're going to do for int i. Oh, sorry, var i is equal to zero. I is less than rect dot length i plus plus. And basically, this is just going to iterate through the array of rectangles, and we're going to do the rect dot update. Or not update. Uh, sorry, we should bring this update down here in the draw. I'm, I'm sorry about that. So put it in the draw, and we're going to say rect dot draw ctx, and make sure that your rect has the i here. So we choose that element in the array. And now we're ready to add rectangles into our, our array. So let's just do a uh, let's do a rect dot push, which is going to push something into the array. We're going to say new rectangle, and we're going to give it an x and y, 50, 50, 50, and 50. So now if we go back and we click, it does nothing. We check our debug. Always check your debug, and nothing's happening. Fantastic. So that means that we need to go through and uh, check to make sure we called everything correctly. 
So, uh, I took a second to look at it, and then I just realized that we didn't set our color of our rectangle. So let's set our color of our rectangle. We can uh, make this function a little more verbose. Let's call uh, let's call var r is equal to new rectangle, uh, and we'll just cut this, paste it here, and then we're just going to pass r into our push. And then we need to set our r.color is equal to uh, new color. And then uh, let's pass in our RGB values. Let's make it red, 255, 0, 0, and 1. And now, <laughs> there we go. The reason it wasn't drawing is we weren't setting a color. It was set to white, and the background's white, so it showed nothing. Um, so that, that's how we... Uh, and that's how we incorporate external elements inside of the HTML page to use our framework and to interact with the canvas itself. Um, so, I mean, uh, yeah. So since we have a cool button here, let's make it do something a little more interesting. Uh, I'll try to make this uh, as quick as possible. So we're gonna do a, in fact, we can do it right here in the rectangle. Let's make a random position. Let's call random, uh, sorry, math.random math.random and we're going to do that to the first to the x and the y we're going to keep it at 50 and 50 for that and then we're going to uh, do multiplied by let's make it between 0 and 400 450 so let's multiply this by 450 and I believe all we'll need to do then is uh, well, actually, that should be fine. Let's find out what happens. Um, so let's click, 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 click. You can see that we're getting random rectangles everywhere. So now we've created a pretty cool program that creates random program or random rectangles inside of our canvas using the elements inside the HTML. So uh, that's just a quick example of how to use the framework in HTML. Thanks.